Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. For real, welcome back. First video in the new place. No uploads for a couple of days, but we've absolutely been following along with what's going on inside of this game, and there's actually a lot to cover. It was a quiet weekend, but there's a lot of things upcoming, including today's upgrade packs that we hope could be very special. And of course, we have some pack code that has not been dropped in the game yet. Could today be a little 85 times 5 action? I want to take a look at that, talk through all things related to FIFA content on a Monday. Also take a look at one of the most insane SBCs that we have had this entire year. Obviously, SBCs get insane towards the end of the year, but this Gareth Bale that they dropped yesterday, end of an era, is absolutely mental. Incredible stats, the 5-star skills, the high attacking work rate change, fantastic card, absolutely getting into the squad. So I want to take a look at this SBC and take a look at a little bit of a token update. What's going on? 17 swap tokens, but we have to get ready because this Friday is the actual drop date for uh, the swaps. We're going to actually get the redeemable uh, rewards in the SBC section this Friday. So our token grind continues. We have to keep looking into that because that time is coming up very very soon and just take a look at monday content what to expect today and kind of what's going on with the market after of course a huge sbc like a gareth bale gets dropped there's going to be a lot of movement so we're going to take a look at all that and more in today's video boys it's good to be back i can't lie if you're excited for today hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's get into it first with the upgrade packs because mondays are upgrade days right now here's the question what is EA going to do? Is EA going to do the bare minimum and just re-release like the 82 plus player pick that we had last week? Six rare golds, 11 total golds, what you need for that. Nothing super crazy. Those were those were okay last week. Hopefully they at least do that. But I want to bring another option to the table because we had pack code added last week. It's got our heads thinking, got the wheels turning about an 85 plus times five. And actually I looked back at last year it's a shame that we have not had this pack yet this year because they dropped the 85 times 5 like during the What If promo, which was in February of FIFA 21, and it is now July, and we still do not have... We haven't had an 85 times 5 all year. As far as I'm concerned, this is the first time this pack's been added to the code. Now, if they were to drop this SBC today, how much would it be? What would it be like? It would probably be a one-time non-repeatable. I really doubt that EA is going to put an upgrade pack out like this at this stage of the game. Even though it's this late, the 85 times 10 didn't come until like August last year or at least late July. So we still might be a couple weeks away from like repeatable type stuff like this. But an 85 times 5 one-time non-repeatable pack, I think is something that we have to consider for today's content. Now, what would it be like? You know, in the years past or last year when they released this SBC multiple times, most of the time it was released around 150 to 170,000 coins. Uh, and, you know, a couple times a year you can see like back in March of last year, it was 200k when fodder spiked. Fodder's not super crazy expensive right now, but, you know, I think it has potential to rise up with this pack being out. Now, there is one aspect of fodder that is crazy expensive. And EA really need to fix this. This is actually a legit problem on this game. All team of the week and team of the season cards. I've seen people talking about this and they're absolutely correct. All of these team of the week and team of the season cards are way too expensive for their own good. Team of the week cards right now, you have to pay like 40 to 50,000 coins to get one of those. Um, and I think for a team of the season card, you might have to pay 60K. Is it 60K? 60, 65,000 coins to get a team of the season card for an SBC. That's wild. Like, you know, if you invested in that stuff, you're loving it because you've made a ton of profit. But that demand is still almost every day when they're dropping a player SBC, the demand is still very high for team of the week and team of the season players. Because like I said, every single day when they're dropping a player SBC, they're requiring still tots or team of the week cards in multiple of these SBCs, like two of the squads for Bale, they need to start releasing these cards tradable. EA Sports, it's July, man. Like, yes, people playing this game, you you still want to drain coins. We get it. You still want to make sure that you keep the value uh, of these SBCs where you want them to try to drain coins in July. But let us, let us have a little bit more fun, right? I mean, sure, you can keep Team of the Weeks and Team of the Seasons inflated as a lot of people are doing SBCs and stuff like that, but at least supply them tradable like once or twice a week so that third, so that like team of the weeks and team of the season cards are like, you know, 25 to 40K and not 
50 to 60,000 coins, astronomically expensive, that are making these SBCs crazy pricey. So that's my biggest issue with fodder at the moment is that these cards, they're just too expensive. Six, if I want to go out and try some MLS TOTS cards or some off-league team of the season cards that used to be like 30 or 40K for my team, I have to go pay 60K for Livaja, uh, who some people called the Croatian R9 when he was first released in uh, was like rest of the world team of the season. Like this guy was probably, he's a 92, so he was probably never like 30K, but you know, from 40,000 coins to like 60K, or especially a card like these 88s, if you wanna go out and try any of these TOTS cards from the secondary leagues that are considered fodder to most people, you're gonna have to pay a lot more coins than you would have before uh, just because the fodder value of them has gone up so much. So that's the biggest issue with fodder, in my opinion, right now. I thought last week EA was going to drop some sort of SBC to supply those cards on the market, but they didn't. So we're still waiting for that. They took away the Team of the Week upgrade, which literally makes no sense, but it, we need tradable supply EA, okay? Like, just drop a tradable TOTS pack, tradable Team of the Week pack. Both of those are in the code because we had them untradable already. Just flip it around, make it tradable, give us an SBC, and, you know, wreak some havoc, right? Let's go. Come on. That's, that's how easy it is, right? Now, speaking of the rest of the fodder market, I think this stuff actually is still viable on the lower to mid-tier. Some of your higher tier stuff, like uh, I saw Lewandowski is like 54K. You know, you know, some of your 91s are up a little bit. I think that was because of the Icon player pick and Gareth Bale both having some higher rated squads in it yesterday. But I think your 84 is at like 4,000 coins, especially if you can get them under 4K. Uh, you've got some weekend league rewards being paid out this morning on Monday. Some people might pack some fodder. So, you know, try to get some of these on bid. If you haven't stocked your club at all yet, I think 84s, 83s to 86s are probably the place where I would look to stock my club today because you guys remember, right? 86s last week were like 18, 19,000 coins. We had some good SBC content. They flew. 85s were like 11K. 84s were like 6,000 coins plus. So at the very least, and probably all that I would do would be a little bit of a club stock, maybe a small investment. You know, it's really just counting on EA dropping some good content. But a pack like an 85 times 5 that would be a good upgrade pack that EA could release today on a Monday alongside with upgrades. Uh, like the past couple weeks, we've had an 85 plus player pick, but this would be a very nice upgrade over that and it would make fodder move. So I know I'm really hopeful for this 85 times 5 uh, but it's been added to the code recently and oftentimes when you see that, you see the packs dropped in the game. So I have a little bit of hope for this 85 times 5 coming up later on this week. So I think a club stock on fodder is not a bad idea whatsoever in, you know, just in preparation for whatever content could be coming out this week, regardless of it being 85 times 5 or not. Now, let's talk about Gareth Bale because this was the SBC, you know, this is the best card. I'll say it. I think people are in agreement with this too. One of the best cards, if not the best card we have in FIFA like right now, uh, just from a total statistical standpoint, every single stat is 96 plus, except for his defense, but he's an attacking player or a midfielder where most people are going to use him. The stats in this card just looks phenomenal. Like GG's to EA Sports for the huge boost here. He was not, of course, an MLS Gareth Bale because he is not an MLS player yet. So I imagine that he was going to drop as a Real Madrid and that is what they ended up doing, even though his like Real Madrid contact contract like ended on the 1st of July. He's not an MLS player until July 7th, so I think that's how it worked out. But what a boost, man. I mean, agility and balance, huge boost there for him. This card just looks unbelievable. This is a, I just, it's, I know it's expensive. It's it coming in right now at like 730,000 coins, but probably later on this week, this is only going to go higher, right? This is only going to continue to rise in price uh, as fodder goes up as it normally does throughout the week. So if you're looking to get this done, try to get it done ASAP with potential upgrade packs today if those upgrades that come out are very good because your fodder that you might have to buy could be trickling upwards throughout the week. But 700K for this card, I think, is a great price because I've heard a couple people mention this and I fully agree with them. This card on the market, especially if you look at a guy like Ribéry, is four and a half million coins. I know he's more of an attacker than a midfielder. You look at a Rashford, you look at how expensive some of these insane cards have been from the first three weeks now of shapeshifters. This card on the market, I think, would be like two mil, maybe 1.5 to 2 million coins for five star skills. And his SPC is only 700K. And you've got like a whole month to do it. This doesn't expire until August. 
So plenty of time to get this guy done. And GG's to EA for dropping all around one of the in most insane cards statistically. This card for me might even dethrone Team of the Year Messi as the right mid spot on my team. It's probably going to happen because... This just this card just looks too good. So absolutely fantastic content from EA Sports. Um, you know, even a small thing here that probably goes overlooked. Take a look at that little image on the SBC. That's fire. GGZ, yeah, it's kind of cool too. Now, also yesterday we had the 92 plus moments pick, repeatable two times. And I tweeted out yesterday, I said something about icon uh icons just being behind the curve. I think that everything related to icons right now is behind the curve. I mean, why would you spend what is this, 500 and something thousand coins? when doing this SBC for an Icon Moments player pick, when you could put 500,000 coins of fodder towards this Gareth Bale and get a guaranteed card that would be better than like 95% of all of the Icon Moments that you could pack from this player pick. You know what I'm saying? Like this, if there's any SBC that you're gonna be crafting this week, like this has gotta be the one. If you just can't do it outright or you don't wanna spend the, the coins right away to get it done, this is one to absolutely start crafting and I would start it ahead of the 92 plus because again, like I said, we, it just feels like we're falling behind the curve. Icons are already behind the curve. There's shapeshifters, there's tots cards that are better than basically every icon in every position on the game, bar for the few top tier cream of the crop icon moments cards um so yeah only 92 plus moments packs being out right now i understand that ea has to prolong this a little bit because they can't just release 94 plus icon moments packs in you know early july and expect there to still be a little bit of a progression until the end of the year but it also it's just a bummer because like we love to gamble with those icon player picks man and yes that reveals are cool and and yeah you know, crafting those is cool, but the cards that you get are like, I don't want to pack Lineker, Dog Leash, uh, Beckham, Raul, Kuman, Gerard from a 92 plus, Shevchenko, no thanks. Like, I don't want to even gamble. I'd rather just put my fodder towards one of the insane end of an errors that we have had recently that gives you a guaranteed all right, so that's kind of how I'm feeling about that. But since the Gareth Bale was super duper hyped yesterday, we got to take a little bit of a look at the market and how this guy affected the market. Of course, all of your Real Madrid links have gone up, specifically this Fede Valverde, probably the favorite for people right now to link him. Uh, Valverde yesterday was 700K before release, exploded to 880, actually went up to almost 900,000 coins. He's chilling right now at 850. I mean, that link up on the right side, Bale Valverde would be phenomenal i kind of want to try that later on this week but that's a that's probably the biggest riser from yesterday a lot of people invested in luka modric when the bail leak first came out modric was down at like 230 250 and of course he exploded from there all the way to 290 almost 300,000 coins this card's probably going to continue to rise up a little bit more today if you bought any of these links i actually kept uh you guys maybe saw me on friday i bought a marcelo at like 3.85 uh, he is still up as well. Danny Alves not even being a strong link, being a weak link to Gareth Bale, but probably one of the best right backs in La Liga, going from 400,000 coins spiking to 500 where he is right now. The Marcelo card that I that I was able to snag as well, I think Marcelo went from like 4 million coins all the way up to 4.3 and he's back down a little bit. I'm just going to hold on to mine for right now just because this card is uber rare. And uh, I, I think people might want to link those two together. So I'm going to see if I'm going to be able to sell Marcelo a little bit higher up there. But I also want to try Marcelo and Bale on the same team because they're going to be absolutely fantastic to run together as a duo in this game. So that Bale SBC is just unbelievable content. GG's for EA. If it's too expensive for you, start slowly working on it. I think there's great opportunities to craft that since it's out for such a long time. Now, just really quick, I want to look over the shapeshifters that dropped yesterday. Colaire, Madison, and uh, what's the other guys? Gio Reyna. How can I forget Gio Reyna? We'll just do this on Footbin really fast. James Madison is going to get overlooked because Gareth Bale just dropped his right wing. But this card looks really, really good as well. High medium work rates. He is five foot nine, lean body type. Hasn't really had special cards this year. Had a couple last year, but the five star skill boost there, 98 acceleration with that grade of dribbling stats. This guy is going to feel quick 
on the ball. Great dynamic image, but again, he's a right wing after Gareth Bale came out. So this card's probably going to rise up today. Um, he was just down at like 375,000 coins, getting low on a Sunday night. He's probably going to rise up. He's already started to, but that often happens on Mondays after rewards is that people go out and they get some coins. They go out and try players. So we'll see if Bale being a right wing affects his price at all, but that's a really, really nice card there. Gio Reyna for 150K, also at the five-star, four-star boost. Doesn't look as insane as a um, as the James Madison card does, but this guy, you know, he's got the high and average body type. You know who I might kind of compare this in? compare this to he might be a poor man's Rafael Leao uh, of course Leao has got better stats but he is six foot two high and average plus body type um, with really good dribbling and the five star skills and the four star weak foot Gio Reyna's got actually just kidding he's got high and average he doesn't have high and average plus so that might hurt his card a little bit but of course being uh, USA, happy July 4th, all those celebrating. Uh, you know, that's a pretty cool card. You're going to have to try him out. Would have loved 90 shooting, by the way, EA Sports. I, at this stage of the game, why 89? Just give him like 87 finishing so that you can add it up to be 90 rated. Anyways, it's the small things uh, for me. And then Colaire was a position change CDM with really, really good stats. I mean, wow, what kind of upgrade did we get? Plus 33 shooting which who cares plus 30 dribbling and plus 27 passing what's the biggest in-game stat boost besides shooting oh wow okay well 52 free kick accuracy i mean the thing about this whole shapeshifters team is and i don't know if you guys feel the same way these guys the whole team apart from like four cards is dirt cheap you've got an 8.2 million coin ginola who is down loads by the way if you bought him at 14 mil you were silly same thing with those who bought ribery hoping for the price range update ribery is now 4.5 back on the market but you know that 8 point whatever million coins ribery we have rashford at 17 and then we have sane at 200k and then valverde so we have five cards five cards that are over 100k and the rest of the team while they are very good cards I mean, they are, they're just dirt cheap. Like this Yunberg card, I know he's MLS. That probably deters from some of the hype. But this is a really, really good looking card, man. Morientes, I think, looks good. I mean, people are sleeping on this Mario Gomez as well. I mean, it's crazy that EA turned up the pack weight as much as they did on some of these cards. I remember last week thinking about, hey guys, heroes are probably going to be pretty expensive because that's how they have been all year. They've been pretty hard to pack. But then you guys remember seeing it out of the shapeshifters, uh, foundations pack right and what's the percentage from a four percent for a hero shapeshifter it's actually more common to pack a hero shapeshifter than a regular shapeshifter and there's more regular shapeshifters in packs right now so they have cranked the weight up on these heroes and of course it's not like you're going to pack ginola that often it's more of the gomez morientes ricken and Unberg that you're going to be packing a lot uh, but I guess GG's to EA for making some of those big position change moves and upgrades to the hero cards and then making them cheap. So if you guys want to go and try out some of those, I still think that this team is cool. But I would I would agree with a lot of you guys saying that this team in packs is a lot less hype than the first two teams that we have had. Even with the really big name players in here, besides those, you know, the rest of the team is really, really cheap and a lot of people aren't that excited for it so that's kind of just the pulse of how i think people feel about this team at the moment on this game last thing i want to look at is a little token update because like i mentioned the token swaps are going to be redeemable on friday because friday is july 8th we are at 17 tokens now if you remember last week on monday we had the huge objective dropped for the what is it summer swaps one this is still available for a week it's not going away today but i have to wonder is ea going to do anything today on monday to drop even more swap tokens like this like a big chunk because they've kind of fallen behind again where they released eight last week and then they just released like one or zero we haven't had a swap token we've only had one swap token since friday and it was an objective uh actually you know what have we gone two days in a row without a token that's crazy because we had the Sentonze objective, he got he got us a token, and then um, we had okay, actually this was our last token. I think that was on Saturday. But yeah, like EA, you got to drop some tokens today. I don't know how they're gonna do it. I don't know if they would do this again or if they would make it like SBC based. You know what would be kind of interesting is if they dropped like a marquee matchups on a Thursday, and then like throwback marquee matchups that they've been doing, but then give us 
a token for every single SBC. That could maybe be something they do to try to release more tokens before we get to Friday, because I would have to imagine that we would be, you know, if the rewards come out on this Friday, they would have to have given us probably around 25 tokens to get us halfway through the whole entire summer swaps, which is 50 tokens. So we will have to see how that ends up happening, but I would just expect to see more tokens here very, very soon uh, because it just seems like we can't be that far behind forever with these tokens. Last week on Tuesday, we were like, oh my goodness, we're so far ahead because EA dropped us eight tokens in one day, but uh, now they've kind of fallen behind again. I guess I have squad battle rewards because, wow, silver two. Am I going to get a team of the season player from this? Hopefully I do. Max 90. Wait, it's going to come out as a red though, right? That's not good because I can't use it in SBCs. That's the other thing I was going to say. E-Figs, 89 overall. Nah, man. All right, it's probably going to come out as a red. I wish if they weren't going to upgrade the, uh, yeah, it comes out as a red. Can they at least just give us the opportunity to turn in foot champs versions instead of tots or team of the week? If they made it tots, foot champs, or team of the week, then we would be able to turn in these fodder red cards that I have into SBCs as well. So now that card just becomes regular fodder instead of having some sort of, you know, team of the season or team of the week um, requirement being fulfilled along with it turning in, even though it is actually a, a team of the season card. So I don't know, that'd be another thing that EA could do to make things a little bit nicer. Last thing for this video, just keep your eyes peeled for any leaks today. I think, was it last Monday? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we had a couple of leaks like right before the content drop of a player SBC and then a player drop. So I don't know if we're gonna get a player today. Um, Vardy is expiring. What else do we have in here that's expiring? We don't have much that is expiring today player wise. So, you know, I don't know if they're going to, you know, drop another shapeshifter player since they didn't drop one uh, yesterday. Of course, we had bail, but I would expect to see a couple more leaks in the next two to three days about maybe the last player shapeshifter wise uh, that would be dropped via SBC later on this week. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that one. But I think that's going to be the video for today, lads. I mean, we just need big upgrade packs today and we'll have our fingers crossed for an 85 times five because... That would be a cool pack, even if it's only one time non-repeatable. That would really, again, just cement and let us know that EA is this close to dropping that sort of like repeatable summer content. And if they wanted to drop it like repeatable twice today, that'd be great uh, because Mondays have been days when we've gotten some sort of gamble pack alongside of whatever upgrades we're going to get as well. So hopefully we get the 82 pluses. I want to grind those this week. I want to try to craft as many of those as I can. Wrap these SBCs, get them done, get Gareth Bale done 100%. He's going to get done sooner rather than later. I also want to get Ole done because why not, right? For the content, for the fun, and try them out in games later on this week. So if you enjoyed the video today, hit the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.